charm. Just kidding. If you guys follow me on Facebook and Instagram, you're gonna get the little reference there, so. We are harvesting 2020. The cranberries are going up into the berry pump. We have them corralled. And I'm just gonna do a little video going through everything and how it works. So here it is. Woohoo! Harvest 2020, here we go. This is early harvest. We have the berries corralled. We have a five spray bar there, or a spray bar of five, pushing the berries into our suction tube, which is like a giant vacuum, which then gets sucked up and go into the truck. But first, we're gonna take a look here at the engines and kind of how this berry pump actually works. So right ahead there, there's a diesel engine that powers our water pump. That, that brown tube I'll go over in a second. That's where the berries are going up to the top. But that spray bar that you just saw is run by that little Honda pump. We then come down, that's where the berries get sucked up, that big blue circle. They go up that brown tube into a conveyor, into the truck. And so now let's head up to the top and check it out from the bird's eye view. Here we're up on the top of the berry pump. We're in one of our smaller beds dealing with some of that hail damaged fruit that we, get, we have talked about. So it's a little green yet, but we want to get it off before we end up with any more damage. So here are the berries flowing up to the top. They waterfall over these grates where they somewhat get cleaned. A lot of the rotten berries or damaged fruit will fall through those grates before the good fruit gets elevated into the back of the truck where then we will send it to ocean spray. Here's the view, it's uh, clean fruit just falling into the truck. It's a pretty cool little view. Ooh, ah. <laughs> All right, but notice how clean that is. That spray bar takes off a lot of debris and trash. So what we call trash is cranberry leaves, and just weed seed, anything that is not a cranberry, I guess. So here's the view of that trash that it cleans flowing into the back of the dump truck that we have fabricated. So as you can tell, there's a lot of red in there too. So that's just those rotten berries and also um, the damaged fruit flowing in too. But there is harvest from the top. Moving on. Keep on keeping on, brother. So here we are filling a truck. It's a fast forwarded version. We take It takes us about 20 minutes to fill one of these quad axle dump trucks. So in a second here, we're gonna see me getting in there shoveling. We maximize what we can in these trucks. We only get so many loads per day to ocean spray. So we gotta make the most of it. So when we're done here, Send it down to Ocean Spray, another fresh fruit delivery. Whoop whoop! Hey Discovery Channel, option for a show here. Cranberry Rush, Rose Gold Rush, something like that. That's an idea. So this orange and yellow stuff is called float boom. This is what we use to corral the berries. It's about eight inches thick with foam in it so it floats, but only the top floats so that the bottom sinks in and we're able to corral these berries with them because obviously cranberries float as well. So this is what we do to corral the cranberries and control them and get them into the truck. Sometimes the cranberries get super thick out there and we have a spillover. When that happens, we're gonna have to go out there with rakes, or what we call rakes, which are these. We go out there with our rakes and we'll hand pull it into the pump because this float boom just can't handle it anymore. So here we go. So here we are pulling with our hand rakes. It's pretty impressive how much fruit two people can move. That's how thick it is. It's just one giant mat that you're pulling. 
So we're coming close to the end of the video. Here you can see the berry pump sucking the fruit up. This is why I call it the a giant vacuum basically. It just looks like a vacuum sucking up all that fruit, which is a pretty cool view. But So we're coming to the end of the video. What we're going to jump to next is a time lapse or a time warp of actual picking up of a bed. So this is like four hours basically condensed down into just a couple minutes or maybe even less than a couple minutes. But here goes that and it's pretty cool to see the whole operation just unfold and become what it is and such a such a fast speed. So enjoy and thanks for watching. Here's the final few seconds of what we call a cleanup. So, hope everyone enjoyed. Thanks for watching Life on the Bog, and stay tuned for more fun-filled harvest action. There's going to be plenty more of that to come. <laughs>